All right, guys, welcome to episode 89 of Dope Talk TV. It's your truly low key guy, John, here with me. Got Pedro over here, got the yo, dogs yo. in the back. You already know how to fuck a rockin', man. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And yeah, man, pack your bomb, pack your bowl, roll your J, roll your blunt, get your dad rigs ready. You already know how to fuck a rockin', man. We're back with another one. Facts. A beautiful yeah. fucking yeah. Thursday yeah. afternoon. Mm. We out here. It's fucking kind of windy out, but not really. But it kind of is, but it's not. You well, know how it goes. Yeah, you know how Florida is. It's, it's very Florida. Out. Hey, bro, you only gonna you you might get a hurricane at twelve p.m. by fucking one o'clock. It's sunny. By three p.m. it's storming again. By four, you're at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God You might hit a graduation on the way <laughs> You might I don't fucking know I don't know You you might do a lot It's welcome, Florida guys. It's welcome. fucking Florida But welcome back guys We appreciate you guys For real For watching this uh, This fucking shitty ass show to be no, yeah, like, We're it's, not even all that guys no, So we're thank not, you uh, we're Round not, of applause Yeah, yeah we're you just normal guys We're normal fucking guys We get together once a week Round of applause to the viewers That watch us every week You yeah. know we appreciate it. You make us feel more special than what we are. We actually fucking uh, we actually fucking live together, believe it or not. So I got to see his ass all the fucking time. So it's kind of annoying. It's an everyday thing. Sometimes I stay in my room for like four days at a time. <laughs> so I can just avoid Just so him. I don't see his fucking <laughs> face. But I love the guy. I really do. I fucking love him. But sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you need so, that space. <laughs> sometimes you just want to be left the fuck alone, bro. For real. I swear to God. I'm not playing with Facts, you. Facts. You don't want to hear nothing from nobody. My dog, too. I don't even want to fucking look at him sometimes. He's so ugly. You know what I mean? But he's cute at the same time. Nah, fuck you. Remy, my dog, bro. Remy's cool. Remy's cool. But you know what's not cool was back in fucking high school, right? Nah. <laughs> back in high school, we used to have... Uh, pep rallies and shit like that before the games, and it used to be lit, bro. We had school spirit. Like I remember, like yeah. you know, we used to, the pep rallies. We used to turn up on some drumline shit, dancing to the fucking <laughs> yeah, facts. Like it used to be lit. But our football team would never fucking win. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, our football team fucking was kind of trash. I remember fucking Kevin joined the football team too. I, I, <laughs> shout out to Kevin. Shout man. out to Kevin, man. Round of applause of my dog Kev. And he was like, "Fuck this, I'm out." He did. Yeah, yeah, hey, bro, that shit's work, man. They gonna work your dumb ass. And then, <laughs> and then anything, anything you do, bro. I learned that from a young age, bro. You join a sport, your coach is coming to talk to them teachers, bro. And oh, if they yeah. tell him, oh, he's fucking awful, yeah, bitch, you're going to make up for that in practice. <laughs> you're going to make up for it. I promise you that, buddy. You're going to make up for that in practice. The whole and team fucking, is. Yeah, not nah, facts. <laughs> run. <laughs> Until you throw up, pass out, or I say stop. <laughs> Straight up. I don't know if he told you, but light your fucking blong and your fucking. Yeah, no, nah, we already went through oh, all that. You're wait, super, wait, super wait, late. Holy shit. Super duper. I'm super fucking. Duper. I'm lost right now. Sorry, but, guys. <sighs> yeah, guys, it's crazy. It's crazy how how times change and stuff like that. But you know, the end of times is something that people have been talking about for a long time, and I feel like now that we're getting closer to it, like people are actually starting to wake up and realize, like. The end of times is really coming, bro. There's a lot of stuff like, you know, if you believe in the Bible and you follow what it says, like, there's revelations that are coming true. Like, there's a lot of things happening right now that the Bible spoke about. Before, yeah. Yeah, and it's uh, it's crazy how people, you know, people are really losing their minds. And I feel like it's not even that people are losing their minds. I, I'm... I'm a spiritual type of guy. I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. But I really feel like it's just evil working at its hardest right now, bro. Like, there's people losing their minds, killing their whole families. Um, There's, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's this lady out. Where is she from, Pedro? She's from, like, Wisconsin or something like that. She's from out of state somewhere. But she killed her baby and then called her husband or boyfriend or whatever, the kid's dad, and was like, hey, you know, don't be scared to... When you get home, it's going to be a bloody mess. And she had killed the fucking kid and stabbed another the, her other kid like 50 times or something like that. Yeah. And it's fucking crazy, bro. Like, I mean, I don't I don't really know too much. 100% about the Bible. I'm still learning. You know what I mean? But um, that's what I've been hearing from people that do know the Bible. They're yeah, saying bro. that like, yo, like things are coming true. Like, you know, like a whole bunch of stuff that they be said, like they be talking about. And I'm uh, like, I don't, I don't know the Bible. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not into the Bible a hundred percent, but like, I believe in God and I'm trying to get into it. And that's all I've been hearing, you know? So 
the world is probably going to end. I mean, like, it's, it's anything gonna that end. starts has a fucking ending, but I don't know. I don't think it's going to be in our lifetime. Probably you know, not. We're heading towards it for sure, and we're probably heading towards it faster than we have been at you know, previous times. But yeah. It's going to happen, bro. Anything that goes up must come down. We were just talking about that shit with, with the United States. Yep. Like, not wishing nothing on us because we live here, you know, knock on wood. Like, but anything that goes up must come down. And I really feel like America is not even 300 years old yet. And I don't think America is going to make it another 200 years. I really don't. There's too much division. There's too much fighting going on. Like, too much there's wars. racism everywhere. But we have actual race wars here. That don't happen everywhere. I really don't. Yeah. That like we have groups here fighting each other, KKK and this and that. It's kind of like, like it's kind of like Dominicans and the Haitians. You know what I mean? Like I'm fighting on the on because they 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 don't like each other. There's a lot of people that don't like yeah, each other. Yeah, no, of course, you know I mean? but it's like it's magnified in America and it's yeah. pushed in the media in way the media. more. Yeah. It's like we live in a different in a different place over here, bro, and it's weird like I don't know though, bro. I don't know. I really hope and pray that one day we fucking we get it, you know, we get it right. I really pray I really feel right. I feel like the government doesn't really care about the people, okay? Point blank. I'm going to say that right now. The government does not care about the people. There may be certain people in the government that do, but I'm talking about like the 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 people that really control everything. They they just look at us like fucking cheap, bro. Yeah, no, of course. They just look at us like fucking cheap. Like and 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 they try to divide us and, and and it's just it's fucked up, you know what I mean? And people are just blind to it, bro. Like they really, really think that the government is here to help us, and it's like, bro. Yeah, now the government's like, here on. to keep you dependent on the government, exactly. Because the power is within the people, but if the people realize that, then it's dangerous for the government. You know, exactly. Like. If we have too much knowledge and too much power. Like, ultimately, bro, even the founding fathers said that that's why you should bear arms. That's why you have your Second Amendment, bro, and you should bear arms because of if you ever need to overthrow a, a government that's, you know, in tyranny. Like, ultimately, bro, like, listen, man. Like I said, everything that goes up must come down. I don't wish bad on anything. I don't wish bad on America. But the way that we're going, bro, with all this separation and, and shit, like, it's bad, man. It's looking bad. Like, we made progress for a few years, and then we went back again. It's yeah, weird. Yeah, it was. Like, for the first, like, five, four years, I would say, when Obama was was, was in, it kind of, like, I didn't hear about racism. I really didn't. I don't remember hearing racism that much, like, being talked about. I don't, I don't know about you guys. Have you? Yeah, nah, it died down for yeah. a while, bro. It did. You're right. Like there was a while where it wasn't as, as big of a deal. It started being a, a big deal when Trump came around. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Then everything was racist. Everybody's racist. Everybody's accusing everybody of being a racist. Yeah, and it's like Jesus, man. Like now we gotta. We already living in a fucked up world, and now we gotta. You gotta walk on eggshells because you're hurting everybody's feelings. Yeah, it's like come on, man. Come on. I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it either. Um. I just feel like there's just an agenda and like when you start to really think about it and really get into like really start thinking deep about it, you really just start losing your fucking mind because there's really nothing you could really do about it, bro. There's too many people that don't are not woke or even elevated to even like think about that. There's only so many of us that really think how we think. If you think about it, everybody else is just like sheep and like, nah, like, you know, they look at us like conspiracy theories and, and like, they don't they don't believe in any of that. And I'm just like, yeah, man, I like, mean, that's fine, bro. You have cool. your own right yeah. to believe in what you want and not believe in what you don't want. But yeah. but ultimately, bro, truth is truth. And there's some conspiracy theories that are like, all right, bro, come on, bro. Like yeah. that's that's far fetched. But there's there's a lot that aren't. And yeah. there's a lot of conspiracy theories that aren't conspiracy theories. It's facts. But that's what they put on it to discredit yeah. what the fuck is being said. You know? But Ultimately, man, that's why, like, for example, I want to give a round of applause to one of my favorite rappers growing up, Immortal Technique, man. I fucking love that guy, bro. He be speaking nothing but truth. You know, it's nice to take a break from Dolph and, you know, <laughs> like yeah. these guys. Like, I love all types yeah. of hip hop, bro. Yeah. For I listen to Trap. I listen to Gucci. I listen to a bunch of stuff. But it's like, 
it's good to go back every once in a while and listen to people that are actually saying saying something on the beat. And Immortal Technique is one of those guys. Like we were just talking about before the podcast, bro. There's there's one of his one of his albums is almost 14 years old, bro. And he's he was talking about stuff that's going on right now. He was talking about lethal injections being strapped down, ready to go. Back then, yeah. And now we're dealing with this COVID shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and there's people dying from some of the shots that are, they're saying is going to help you. Yeah. So it's like, you don't know, bro. Like, it, it's it's crazy, but you got to speak truth, man. You got to speak your truth and, and give your perspective on the world. And I just wanted to give him a quick shout out, man, because that man's been speaking truth and speaking, you know. As bars. As bars. It's speaking it's not, positivity yeah. and, and speaking about God for a long time, bro. So you got to get on that. Yeah. You got to get on that. For real. There's a lot of rappers, like, that are just like they fell off. They didn't fall off, but they just they decided not to take that route because it's just not a good route. It's not profitable. It's not. And that's why that's another reason why it's commendable. Yep. Because a lot of a lot of rappers go into the rap game for the money. They want the Lambos, they want the chains, they want the grills, they want the cars, they want the rings, they want all the glamour. Yep. But it takes balls, bro, to stand your ground and say, you know what, I don't care about none of that. Like I'm gonna speak about what's right, what's wrong, what's righteous. You yep. know? Cause it's not profitable, bro. A lot of people are gonna look at you like you're a fucking dweeb, or like you're like, you just you're less of a man somehow or something, you know? Well, you're just but, not cool, man. Yeah, or you're you just know? not cool. Oh, you're not or you're cool. Like, oh, you're not like, oh, you don't got no swag, bro. Listen, bro. Once you listen, kids, the the kids out there that are li- might be listening to us, even though you shouldn't, because it's eighteen and over. But if you are, <laughs> you, <shouldn't laughs> you know be. what I'm saying. If you are, bro, one day you're gonna grow out of the phase of being a kid and you're going to realize that a lot of stuff that you thought was cool really wasn't. You're going to look back at your 15 year old self when you're 30 and be like, wow, what the hell was I wearing? Why did I have my hair like that? Like there's so many things that you grow out of it's phases. You know what I'm saying? And as a kid, bro, like you got to realize that shit. Like once you grow up, bro, you, you need more than just swag and just fucking, looks (laughs) looks <laughs> like for real you need more than swag and looks you you need to you have need a good head on your shoulder you need to have good head on your shoulders you need to be able to make good decisions you need to be able to make good connections and network the way you're supposed to like it's more than it, it's about more than just looks and and money and that's it yeah you it's, know? yeah it's a lot it's a lot more to it like confidence and and, and, and how that's you, important. Yeah, like how you how you walk in the building, man. Like how you how you represent yourself, man. Like, yeah, but don't be too cocky. Yeah, guys. don't be too. You cocky. know what I'm saying? Be yeah. confident within yourself, but yeah. realize that you're not better than no fucking body else. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You might yep. be better at doing something than somebody else, but that doesn't mean you're better yep. than that person. Yep. You know, like yeah, you might be a better accountant or you might be whatever the fuck, but like just you know have confidence, but be humble too. You know what I'm saying? Understand that, like, because people realize it. People could see that. Yeah, people can, see, people can see the confidence in you. You know what I mean. And when you don't really give a fuck what anybody else got to say about you or just opinion, I think you just go a long way with that. And everything, yeah, nah, and it, everything. Helps, it helps a lot, guys. Yeah, be confident but be humble at the same time, guys. Yep. Straight the fuck up. Fact. But it's crazy, man. How like money back in the days, man. Money back in the days lost its value. It's losing its value quick now too, bro. We were just talking about that. How back in the days, man. In the 1920s, there was people. Letting their kids build like houses with just money and play with like money, little houses for themselves and playing, let, letting them play with wads, bricks of fucking money, because that's how low the value of the dollar had gotten. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And we'll put I, up a picture too. Yeah. Right, right u- ultimately, bro, I feel like that's where we're heading again. I feel like eventually the American dollar is gonna fall that bad, where it's like you can have a million dollars in cash, bro, and it's gonna be worthless. Because it like the American dollar ain't gonna be worth shit. Fuck yeah, it's true. That's why like like my family from Norway they would come down and they're like, holy shit, it's fucking cheap here. It's cheap. It really is compared to over there. It's like way cheaper. Like the clothing and shoes and shit like that. They went shopping because it was like, oh man, like this is crazy. I don't know how it is now because this was like maybe like twelve, fifteen years ago. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It was a long time ago. So, but yeah, it could be worse now. You know what I mean? Because, like, we're just going to go back to, like, gold bars and shit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't... 
No? Like there's certain things. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go back to gold bars. I mean, that's always gonna hold value because that's a that's a natural resource. Yeah. Period. It's been, it's pretty. Gold has pretty much held its value since for thousands of years, but I feel like it's it, going back again. Not to beat people over the head with this crypto shit, but I feel like that's the future. Yeah. I feel that's, like that's yeah. the future, man. They haven't established what crypto is gonna be like head honcho type shit yet, where it's like we're gonna accept this everywhere, mm -hmm. but. There's got to be steps made first before that even happens because these banks, a lot of these banks ain't accepting fucking crypto. They're not working with crypto because it, it bro, that, that's a, it's dangerous for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that means that the money that you're loaning out is no longer wanted. Because that's what most banks are for. They're for loans and shit. Mm -hmm. You go there as a business, you get a business loan. You go there as an individual, you get a loan, whatever. That money that they're lending out, that they're raping you on the interest with, they're not going to be able to do that anymore. Because crypto is different. Yeah. So now they're fucking panicking and they're trying to make crypto look a certain way. Oh, no, if crypto this, it's a big chance, like risk, whatever. It's just technology. Technology's technology is changing, taking, bro. It's taking over. But they'll figure it out. They'll figure out how to tax that shit, too. <laughs> yeah. Trust. It's they're old. not stupid. They're yeah. going to figure out how to tax it. They're going to figure out what crypto is going to be the most universal. And they're going to take off with that shit. But yeah, man, I, I really feel like money is gonna be end up being obsolete. Like this is when the like, actual dollar. I think when this is like when we're old. I feel like when we're like in our sixties, seventies. Yeah, it's gonna be more progressed by then. It might not. I don't know. Even in our lifetime, I don't think it will be completely gone. Yeah, but it's gonna it's changed. It's already changed within the last twenty. Like think about how in the early two thousands, bro, so many people used to carry cash, and then when credit cards came out, it's like oh fucking credit card. Oh, oh I don't carry cash no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... Yeah, it's hard to get robbed now. It's There's a lot of things that are changing, man. Yeah, it's there's like... There's a lot of things that like are changing. Like, bank robberies. Like, you don't see no bank robberies no more. You don't see no you don't fucking have to, gas nigga. station robberies. You don't see none of you that You just shit. see it's, what it's the, harder. the pipeline got hacked. These niggas got $4 million in crypto. You yeah. don't need to go rob a bank. Yep. If you know how to work a computer, bro, you could you could pull $500,000 licks. Yep. Go ask Fat Joe. Yeah. There was a 19-year-old kid that weighed 90 pounds fucking soaking wet, bro, that stole $500,000 out of his account. Yeah. Just hacking. <laughs> so it's like, you don't need to go rob a bank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like There's a lot of people that got robbed for that These kids are shit. smart, bro. These kids are smart. It's like, technology's different now. You know? Technology's different. But yeah, listen, seriously. guys. One, one thing I wanted to fucking talk about, right? Uh, it's a story that Pedro just brought up to us, man. This is a fucking sad story. It's about a streamer out in Russia that during a live stream, man, this piece of shit ended up locking his girlfriend uh, out on the back porch um, for like hours, hours, bro. And if anybody knows anything about Russia, it's not the warmest fucking place, right? So this poor girl ended up freezing to death and this piece of shit continued to stream. He didn't give a fuck. Damn. Like, he just carried her inside, nigga, and was like, oh, what's wrong with you, honey bun? Like, if she's not fucking dead because you left her outside during a blizzard or nah, some shit. I think, it's, I think that's just mental illness again. Like, I Listen, think, man, I think get, people are just fucking really, really sick, and people don't realize it. Like, the crazy don't realize that they're crazy. I think I think it, yeah. mental illness has part to do with it, but I also I, there's a spiritual warfare going on, bro. Yeah, going some back to that, some devil shit. Too. There's some. It's a spiritual warfare going on out here, bro. And some people are more susceptible to that. Yeah, you know they're more open to being to letting negative energy around them. That's why I always talk about like you got to protect your energy, bro. Yep. You can't hang around everybody. Everybody don't come around with good intentions. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't visit your house with good intentions. Yep. Some niggas might come through and leave a little bad energy around. Yeah. I'm telling you, bro, like Yeah, be like that. Fuck that, bro. Like you got to watch your energy. You got to watch who you hang around. You got to watch who you bring around. Like Energy is very important, and I feel like that has a lot to do with it. Like, the energy's been weird. I sort of got... The energy's been weird for the last year and a half. Yeah, it's been kind you know of... I'm it's It's been kind of off, um, on and off. It's been really good. I have days that I'm like, wow, you know, things are really good. I feel really good. And there's just some days that it's just been off, you know? And you kind of just got to balance the highs with the lows. Um, because without no lows, there'll be no highs. If there was no highs, there'll be no lows. Wow. Wow, run of applause to this guy. That was poetic justice right yeah. there. That was the most poetic thing I ever fucking heard this guy say. Can, can you snap for me real quick? Oh. You know, I went to an open mic yesterday, guys. And um. I, I should have just I should have just 
Set some shit out there you know My dog I mean? was strumming her pains with his fingers I'll just keep my <laughs> voice real low Like how I got it right now You know And I'll just talk to you like this baby girl Talk to you like this baby girl Yeah You know what I mean You know how You know how when you talk to a girl You don't You don't You, you bring yeah, your voice you, down You put that 2am voice on Yeah like hey baby, baby I just woke up Baby my bad I just woke up What you uh, doing What's going on You wanna Sound like pot smoking shit Hey <laughs> Welcome to party Baby this is why I took the glean and the drugs That's why I move retarded <laughs> All right. All right. I didn't say it, so don't get mad at me. That was him. My dog said it. <laughs> but nah, bro. Listen, man. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. We're living in some crazy times. That's why, guys, at the end of ep- every episode, I'd be telling y'all, tell somebody you love them, man. That shit really does go a long way. Yeah. Like, you don't know what people are going through. Everybody has their own battles that they're fighting. Everybody goes through it different. Some people will talk to you about it. Other people won't. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, be mindful of your uh, uh, your family. Be mindful of your friends. Check up on them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, man. Again, tell somebody you fucking love them because life is too goddamn short. Life is too short. Way too fucking short. That's a fact. For real. It happens just fact. like that. It comes around. Boom. Gone. Comes Hit. around and then it's fucking out of here. And then it's out of here. Just like us, guys. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to do just that. Go down in the description. Get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. And again, man, only 10% of y'all are subscribed, guys. What are we doing? Yo. What are we doing? I'm going to tell y'all. Tell them, Johnny. Yo. Yo, yo, if yo. If you don't like this button, huh. I'm going to go hit you in the fucking face with a little bass. Huh. I'm going to go smoke this bitch until smoke I go on space. I don't really give a fuck, baby, what you gotta say huh, uh, yo, I'm drinking on this bang uh, I wanna go insane uh, I'm smoking weed, I'm going all the way into the gang uh, uh, Alright guys, we're gonna stop it there before he fucks it up yeah, before I That fuck was it probably up, one of the best ones he's ever done hey, But we love you, we appreciate you you know what I'm saying? My dog's going to court. I'm going to court after he, this. I got to drive him. He, not, he might not make it out. I might not be here in the next episode, so I had to record another one just in case, guys. So look up for my fucking mugshot. Nah, I'm just playing we with We love y'all. you guys, playing. man. Peace. Peace.